Ladies and gentlemen, let's read GamingTech.com video. We're going to be discussing recent news that Microsoft's leader, uh, Steve Ballmer, is going to be stepping down from uh, his position within the next 12 months. The response to this is their share prices have actually gone up 8% since the news has been released. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quote. There's never been a perfect time for this type of transitions, but now is the right time. We've embarked on a new strategy with new organization, and we have an amazing senior leadership team. My original thought on timing would have had my retirement happen in the middle of our company's transformation to a device and services company. We need a CEO who will be here longer term for the new direction. John Thompson, meanwhile, also chimed in and said, the board is committed to the effective transformation of Microsoft to a successful devices and services company. In this work, as this work continues, we are focused on selecting a new CEO to work with the company's senior leadership team to chart the company's course and execute on it a highly competitive industry. Now, Steve is 57 years old, and he's been with Microsoft 33 years, which is pretty damn long, uh, long time. He was actually hired by Bill Gates himself, who is, of course, the previous leader at Microsoft, uh, way back in the mists of 1980. And, of course, was very successful and quickly climbed up the corporate ladder. Steve also added, Microsoft is an amazing place. I love the company. I love the way we've helped invent and popularize computing and the PC. I love the bigness and the boldness of our bets. I love the people and their talent and their willingness to accept and embrace their range of capabilities, including their quirks. This is an emotional and difficult for me, thing for me to do. I take this step in the best interests of the company. I love it. It is the thing outside my family and closest friends that matters to me most. Microsoft has been the best days ahead. I know that you are part of the team of the industry and have the right technology assets. We cannot and will not miss a beat in these transitions. I am focused and driving hard and I know I can count on all of you to do the same. Let's do ourselves proud. End quote. So Microsoft have had a fairly interesting uh, 12 months, let's say that. Of course, they had the initial reaction of the Xbox One, which pretty much has been one of the most negative, I think, console launches that I've ever witnessed. And it's so somewhat starting to turn this uh, stigma that's been basically hanging on the console like a stench of a dead carcass for a long time. Mostly they've cleaned it away. Mostly people now are embracing it and coming to a more neutral perspective, which is obviously a very good thing. They all... A lot of this, of course, was also was um, to do with Don Matrick, and Don Matrick has now left the company. They fired a couple of a few people, or at least, uh, let's say, gotten rid of a few people uh, that have led them down the wrong path. And now Julie Larson Green is taking um, Don Matrick's previous position. And then, of course, you've got the issues with the tablets. The tablets have not really made a significant dent in terms of well, compared to, say, the iPad uh, and the phones as well, pretty much exactly the same issue. They've not really been able to fight against the Androids and the Apple phones, which are just basically so prevalent now. Um, more to the point, of course, you've got other issues such as Windows 8. Windows 8 was somewhat a mixed bag. Obviously, there are some nice features to Windows 8, such as, say, the new version of DirectX, which is exclusive. However, Microsoft even picked up some flack for that. People said, well, why can't you include it on Windows 7? Why can't you do a retroactive upgrade? For those of us who don't like Windows 8, and Microsoft, of course, have lowered the price of Windows 8 to try to make it pretty simple for people to upgrade. They've started to take, take criticisms on board in regards to, say, how the uh, various functions of the systems, for example, the start menu uh, worked. And they're trying their best to basically solidify their bases. They're also now, of course, going into cloud computing a lot more and offering services in regards to that. And, of course, things such as, say, Exchange, which is Microsoft uh, email support and um, basic cloud-based email. They're offering, of course, Office, Office 365 and a lot more besides. So they're really starting to shift their focus and trying to make their business a lot more profitable. 
In my personal opinion, Steve himself has done Microsoft a pretty good uh, service, and it's obvious he's going to get a pretty decent paycheck at the end of it. He's also going to stay long enough to help find the perfect um, replacement, and that's not going to be easy. They're obviously going to need someone who is smart, capable, driven, knows the company's policies really well, and actually has a creative vision. It's not just a simple case of a leader leading. The leader needs a clear vision of the company, and more to the point, the people underneath them need to actually follow and share in that vision. And that's a very difficult and challenging thing. In this time, and we're talking about modern day age, of course, it's very challenging for tech companies. It really is. I mean, there's not only so much competition out there, but the market seems to change on a dime. And it's very difficult to not only even keep up with the curve, but to actually stay ahead of it and to actually pioneer. You can't just be in a position of being able to you know, cling to your competitors because then you're just never going to beat them. You always need to try and innovate. You need to try and separate and you need to try and compete in so many different areas and it's so difficult to do that. Microsoft, of course, have made numerous strides in that direction and in my opinion, they're a lot stronger than what they used to be. Um, there were so many tragedy type of stories for Microsoft in terms of the you're just shaking your head as you're reporting the news on the latest blunder they've made and I think Microsoft have been a very bold company. They have made some Odd decisions, I do grant you that some of the decisions I wouldn't have personally agreed with, but that's just how it is. But in reality, they are a very strong company. There are some unpopular things they're doing right now, such as the removal for games for Windows Live, but apparently they're going to renew their commitment to PC gaming, so we're going to have to see what that's like. Obviously, the Xbox 360 is still doing fairly well, and in regards to the Xbox One, obviously popularity started to do better so they really need to start solidifying their bases and trying to start pushing the services and their um the dominance on so the tablet marketplace and so on obviously they've still got the pc desktop marketplace pretty well sewn up however apple are starting to make a little bit of a stride uh, in that and also of course you've got linux which is becoming a little bit more popular now um by no means is it exactly mainstream you know 95% of people are still going to answer you uh, that their main operating system is Windows. However, the odd person, especially those who are more technically adept, are probably going to say, well, you know, I use Linux um, as a dual boot or whatever. Uh, so it's definitely becoming a little, little bit more of a complicated issue. Um, there are, of course, still applications that are very much the, seen as the weak point. For example, Internet Explorer is still considered the laughing stock of the browser world, despite the fact that they have made some significant improvements to it. But I think it's going to take a heck of a lot more than significant improvements right now. They need to do a heck of a lot more. But they are getting there, and it's going to be a very slow process, I think, for them to really start inventing themselves enough. But anyway... I think that's just about it for this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat informative. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.